If you're looking to buy a brand new Toyota Tacoma, wait. You need to know these five things before you make a purchase. I can almost guarantee that if you already owned a Toyota vehicle, one of these problems you've already dealt with. Starting with number one, and this one is probably the most notorious, rust. For example, this is my 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5. I purchased this vehicle brand new about a year and a half ago and uh it's oh it, yeah it has surface rust now most people are going to tell you disregard it don't worry about it it's not that important and that's what i thought as well until i got onto google and everything on google and everywhere else says to treat it before it gets worse mind you my truck came with rust and like every other truck that was there was rusted up even more when you go buy a toyota tacoma look underneath it check how bad the rust is if it's really that bad maybe stay away from it but definitely undercoat your tacoma number two is more of a third gen toyota tacoma issue and that's the seat position maybe they did it on purpose maybe they did it on accident but toyota i'm asking you don't do it again i had a 2019 before this i drove that truck to the beach one time it ruined my trip my legs were so beat up and at the time it was my first vehicle so i was like maybe this is just life no that's just Tacoma life. The 2020s get an adjustable front seat, so it lets you adjust it a little bit, but still, it's not It's not enough. It's nowhere near enough, and that's why seat jackers, I'll link some down below, is such a popular mod, and I'm gonna have to get them. Number three is a little hard to explain. So this is a truck. In my opinion, a truck is a big, heavy-duty vehicle that's made to work. But for the Toyota Tacoma, it feels like it's just made to run forever without doing too much work. Let me explain. So starting in the back, if you plan on using your bed at all, you are going to need to upgrade your suspension. The more you use it, the quicker that you're gonna need to upgrade the suspension. I use mine mainly for camping trips. My rear suspension is already going flat and is even starting to bend the other way. This is a little upsetting because the Tacoma's payload is like 1400 plus. Mind you, I've never had more than 600 max pounds in the bed. Secondly, towing. It's not that great at towing. It barely can pull itself. And a lot of people who buy these trucks will get into group chats and say, I'm trying to pull my 40 foot trailer with the space shuttle on it and it's not moving. There's gonna be a lot of people that tell you it can tow and it's great and blah, 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 blah. Go for it. Let me know how it goes. I personally just don't think the Tacoma is that capable of towing over and over and over again. So I'm gonna stay away. Number four is the ugly truth of owning a Toyota Tacoma. This is a 21 Toyota Tacoma SR5. This is the second lowest trim that you can purchase this vehicle at. $40,000 for this truck. I'm paying $500 a month for this vehicle. Even that sounds a little outrageous for me. Now ask yourself, can you do $500 a month? The answer may be yes. Kudos to you. Can you do $50 to $200 on top of that for insurance? Now, can you add $250 on top of that for gas? And that's just regular cost. You want new wheels, new tires, tint, whatever it is, you're gonna pay even more. I used to sell vehicles at Toyota. It didn't happen to me personally, but I saw this happen a lot at the dealership where people would buy trucks, this one right here, and then come back like two months later asking for us to take the truck back because they can't afford it. It's sad and it sucks and here's your warning. Make sure you take into account everything before you go and buy one of these. And last but not least, 3.5 liter V6 with the six speed transmission. It's absolutely horrible. I've had the chance to drive many vehicles and out of everything, the Tacoma is probably the worst. I personally don't mind it. I think it's, it's fine. I really don't care, but it's something that comes up time and time again with new Toyota Tacoma owners. So if you're not a Tacoma owner yet, hear me out. This engine and this transmission are like a married couple after 40 years. They do not get along. You put your foot down and the engine wants to go, but the transmission saying, ah, let's upshift, let's downshift, maybe upshift again, and eh, yeah, let's downshift again. It being slow, not that big a deal. It's a truck. If it was fast, then we would be okay with low miles per gallon. But if it was slow, we would expect better miles per gallon. For example, a Hellcat. If you don't know what that is, 707 horsepower. It gets around 13 miles per gallon in the city. Let's talk about a Mustang. 400 plus horsepower, 15 miles per gallon in the city. A Prius has 196 horsepower, but it gets 53 miles per gallon. The Toyota Tacoma is on the ugly end of both. 278 horsepower and 15 miles to the gallon let me know, is there anything you would let someone that's going to buy a Toyota Tacoma know before they actually purchased? I'm curious. If you watched this far into the video, first and foremost, thank you very much. But secondly, there's something different about my truck from this video and last video. We have something coming to the channel. Let me know if you saw it.